Ukraine, Ukraine, the most important work of the 2020 How long and how many people have worked on its development? Uh, have you reigned uh, three years in development and uh, it's the work of about 200 people uh, plus probably about 80 actors uh, and stuntmen so it's, it's, it was quite a, a big project and, and quite a big crew. And uh, how do you choose characters? Well, in fact, in Heavy Rain, you don't choose characters. Um, so they are imposed. So you play one scene with one and you play another scene with another one, but there is no character selection. Well, to, uh, we spent about a year casting actors um, because we were not just looking for the right voice or the right face. We were looking for the right character as a role. So we needed to find the, the person with the right talent, with the right visuals with the right body, with the right face, with the right voice, with the right everything. Because basically what we've done in Heavy Rain is to clone them. So we really recreated them as they are. So if you, uh, if you meet uh, one of the main characters in the street, you would definitely recognize them uh, because this is exactly the way they look. So it's quite surprising. So we met, uh, I think, 300 or 400 different actors in the UK and US and France uh, to, uh, to find exactly the right people. people. Um, is the DLC that will come going to, the, the, to be functional to the main quest of the game or will be, there be other characters and events? On the DLC I cannot talk too much about it yet, but uh, it's definitely not a missing part of the full game. Of course, the game, Heavy Rain, the story is complete in the game. You have the beginning, you have the end, nothing's missing. The DLC, uh, the idea of the DLC is really about having a prequel uh, with uh, some of the characters. And about the, about the demo, you already said that it would be difficult to make a, because the game have a complex story. Can you confirm the demo and uh, can you tell us when we will be, be ready? Okay. It's been and there will be a playable demo and it should be available on February 11th on the PlayStation Store. Um, store. That was some kind of dilemma about this demo because having a demo was a problem because when you have an experience like Heavy Rain that heavily relies on emotion, storytelling, taking just a couple of pieces and saying okay look this is the game was something very difficult especially because every single scene is completely different it's not this kind of game where there are some gameplay mechanics and every single scene is the same thing just with different sets and different enemies here the gameplay is completely different in every single scene so picking up a couple of scenes were really difficult but at the same time not having a playable demo would have been a problem because some people would have suspect that oh they got something to hide and uh, maybe it's not really a game maybe it's just Dragon Slayer and you just press buttons and they don't want us to know so we, we talked a lot about this with Sony and we said look we have nothing we should be ashamed of with this game it is truly interactive it is exactly what we promised in two years and if a playable demo is the right opportunity to put that in front of people and say look this is exactly what we told you it would be Okay, and uh, could every game have a sequel? Could it be in general? Yeah, I guess it could. I mean, any game can have a sequel. I don't think it will have a sequel because uh, I, I said everything I had to say about this story and these characters and I like the fact that there is no sequel to it. It's just one story, one moment. Also because it was a mo it corresponds to a moment in my personal life where I wanted to talk about this. But I said everything I had to say on this story and now it's time for me to close the, the book and open another one and explore different stories, different characters, different emotions, different situations and see what else I can invent, how, what I can explore that has that is not been done yet. One question about the last film of uh, James Cameron and the games. The, the movie has more of video game, Avatar. Uh, have you seen it, Avatar? Mm -hmm. And what do you think of the fusion between cinema and video games? Oh, that's a good question. I, I was very impressed with Avatar on the technical point of view. Um, 
especially because these are the techniques we use for 10 years, motion capture, working with actors, uh, facial animation and stuff. This is things will work for a long time uh, in the game industry in general, and quantum dream in particular. And I really felt like everybody else that Avatar was really pushing the envelope um, in a way in a way that isn't seen on any media. So that was really definitely very interesting and very impressive. Um, so this is great matter of results and what it achieves because it's the first time people understand that it's possible to have a real sense of acting through virtual actors and that the technology is now at that stage where you can really feel something with virtual actors, which was not the case maybe five years ago. So that's very interesting. So in that sense, it's really something new. And I hope that the actress will get the uh, Oscar for her performance because I think she deserves it. And it would be really something new to give an Oscar to a virtual character. Although there is a real, there is a real actress behind it. Now about the merge between cinema and video games. You know, I think there is a huge misunderstanding between both industries and both believe they know the other, but in fact they don't. And uh, most of the time the movie industry sees the video game industry as licensed products. It's a way to, uh, to get some extra marketing and to, to make extra money based on their work on the movie. And on the other side, sometimes the, the game industry sell the movie industry like an easy way to sell games to people just based on the maturity of the, of the movie. And I think both approaches are completely wrong. I mean, these are two very different media with um, very different languages. And they should be treated with respect, respect and individual. So I still hope there will be more and more communication and links, but not the way it was done so far but really in a more creative and, 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 you know, and more clever way. Thank you.